If all of your home network computers are running Windows 7, you can create a home group. That's the easiest way to share files. But what if you have other versions of Windows besides Windows 7? Let's walk through the steps for setting up file sharing on a network with different versions of Windows. For this demonstration, we have three computers. They are running Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. On the computer running Windows 7, we do these steps. Check the workgroup name. Make sure this matches on all the computers. In Network and Sharing Center, set the network location to Home. Make sure your firewall allows file and printer sharing. If you're using Windows Firewall, you can skip this step. If you're not using Windows Firewall, check for more information in Windows Help and Support. Check your password protected sharing settings. If you choose to use password protected sharing, you will be prompted for a username and password when you access content on this computer. On the computer running Windows Vista, we do these steps. Check the workgroup name. Make sure this matches on all three computers. Set the network location to private. To do this, click Customize. Turn on File Sharing, Public Folder Sharing, and if you want to share a printer, turn on Printer Sharing too. Check your password protected sharing settings. Finally, on the computer running Windows XP, click Start, click Control Panel, and then click Network and Internet Connections. Run the Network Setup Wizard. Make sure you type the correct workgroup name to match your other computers. Choose Turn on File and Printer Sharing. Now let's share some files. To share a file in Windows 7, right-click it, click Share With, and then select the people or groups you want to share with. To access a shared file in Windows 7, click the Start button, click your username, and then click Network. Double-click the computer you want to access, typing your username and password if necessary, and then find the file. To share a file in Windows Vista, right-click it, click Share, and then select the people or groups you want to share with. To access a shared file in Windows Vista, click Start and then click Network. Double-click the computer you want to access, Type your username and password if necessary, and then find the file. To share a file in Windows XP, 
Right-click the folder that contains the file you want to share, and then click Sharing and Security. Under Network Sharing and Security, select the checkbox Share this folder on the network, and then type a name for the shared folder. To access a shared file in Windows XP, click Start, click My Network Places, and then click View Workgroup Computers. Double-click the computer you want to access, type your username and password, and then find the file. Remember, if all of your home network computers are running Windows 7, you can create a home group. For more information, search for Home Group in Windows Help and Support. 